All right, guys, so um, we left Tokyo. Well, we're actually at Tokyo Station right now waiting for the Shinkansen. Um, we were running late. We, we barely had enough time. Actually, our Shinkansen is going to take off at 103. It's 12.57. We still have to go up there. We're waiting for our food right now. Um, oh, babe. Arigato gozaimasu. Okay. So here we go. So, this video is going to be about um, the Shinkansen train from Tokyo to Osaka. Or Kyoto. We're going to Kyoto. I'm sorry. So last night we were actually up really late and um, we got a very late start to the morning. It was Halloween, so um, yeah, we had a long night last night. Uh, and we were rushing here like crazy. But we are excited to get on the Shinkansen train for the first time. And if you don't know what the Shinkansen is, that's a Japanese uh, bullet train that uh, sprawls out through the entire country. Uh, it is the fastest train in Japan and this thing is uh, basically <laughs> the heck? <laughs> He's a giant son. <laughs> Um, anyway, that guy evidently didn't like the Giants. So, um, this is the Shinkansen here. What car is it, babe? Car 8. Car 8? Car 8. So we bought first class tickets. So we're going to be traveling in the green car, which are reserved seating, fortunately for us. So here we go. Basically enables us to uh, 
travel more comfortably and we're not lugging around like giant pieces of luggage which is cool so um, yeah we're pretty excited we're sitting on the right side in the C and D windows and what that means is um, we're gonna have the scenic view uh, for our ride today we'll be able to probably I mean God willing be able to see uh, Mount Fuji it looks pretty clear up, but we'll, we shall see. Yeah, like I said, it was a long night. And we woke up this morning and didn't really have a chance to, um, to have breakfast or anything. So right now we're going to eat some quick food that we got at the train station. And uh, what's actually cool about the Shinkansen train, uh, and it's a long distance train. So uh, it's you're able to eat on it. It's accepted to eat on it. Hence, the little tables you got here. So I'm pretty excited to see what uh, the views that we're going to be able to enjoy from the Shinkansen here. The seats are really comfortable though. You got like little footrests down there. So cool guys. <laughs> so we are here in Kyoto. Um, Angelique, our uh, navigator here, is gonna lead us in the right direction. And uh, we're gonna check into our hotel and make ourselves at home and go take a look at what Kyoto has to offer. The Shinkansen is so cool guys. It traveled over 200, it was like, I want to say 280 miles or something like that from uh, Tokyo to Kyoto and it only took uh, three hours, three hours, I want to say, but um, the station's super nice, the trains are very clean and comfortable, um, definitely enjoyed it, it was quite the experience for sure, so um, we're gonna try to figure out where we're at and where we need to go we need to catch another train from the Kyoto station to our hotel so let's see if Angelique has found the way you found it awesome all right off to the hotel we go what do you think babe about the Shinkansen. Yeah, I like it. It's um, so comfortable. Is it like similar to um, the one in Dubai or no? No. The one in Dubai is like, um, what do you call it? The, the normal train. 
But don't they have a bullet train in, um, in Dubai? I think it's not built yet. But you know, oh, really? Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know if it's built now, but uh -oh. during We have nowhere to go down right here. I guess we have to carry our bags. Okay, here we go. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but there's like, I thought there were bats, but there's like these crazy birds out there, out here right now that are like going nuts, like making all kinds of crazy like noises. But anyway, we are walking to our hotel now. Me and Angelique lost each other a little while ago for like an hour. And, uh, we had no way to get a hold of each other, so that was uh, interesting. <laughs> we would like probably walk like miles looking for each other. Anyway, oh man, we need some ramen and just to rest our feet because oh my feet hurt now, dude. We've been walking around like crazy. So, yeah, Tokyo, or Kyoto is like a really nice city. I was thinking in my head that it was going to be like, uh, <laughs> the whole city is going to be like all old school looking, but it looks uh, very modern. I know it's kind of <laughs> dumb thing to say, but from all the, pretty much all the pictures that you see online of Kyoto, they always show you all like the old parts. So but Kyoto is very nice. Very nice and very clean so far. All right guys, so we are in our hotel room and uh, the hotel room is a small room, but it is actually very cozy and nice. I like it. So we got, let's see, let's take a little tour here. Got our kettle right there. Some nice decorations. The decor in here is like really nice actually. Um, uh, let's see the bathroom. Got our standard bidet. Um, and then, yeah, I can't read any of, those, <laughs> any of the, the words on there. So um, we're gonna have to just figure it out. It looks like there's jets on here. Look. There's like jets or something that come out of the, the, the shower right here. Look. Oh. Yeah, like, it like jets at you. Nice bathroom, shower. Got a pretty sweet screen TV there. But even better is the bed. Oh, look, they come with pajamas, matching pajamas. <laughs> the bed is super comfortable. Um, and then also we have like a pretty sweet view. Take a look at that. That's looking down um, this main drag here, going to um, uh, Kyoto Station. Not Kyoto Station, that's uh, the subway that comes to this downtown area. Um, uh, we're staying near the downtown area, or I'm not too sure if this is the downtown area, regardless. Um, it's very nice. <laughs> People could just see us up here. <laughs> you have to like, remember to like close the blinds when you're like naked up here, because otherwise you're going to give everyone a show. <laughs> cool. All right, this bed is super comfy though. Oh, it's nice and soft. Oh, it feels good. We're hungry. We're tired. We need to go hunt some uh, hunt for some ramen here shortly. 
after we rest our feet for a couple minutes because we are starving. Well, I'm starving at least. Oh man, it was a mission to get here, guys. So I guess um, this hotel, we're actually, I don't know if I said it earlier, but we're staying at the Grand Bach Hotel in Kyoto. And they have um, included drink service, so that's pretty cool. They have like a little Nespresso or coffee machine right here. And then um, free drinks included with your stay. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice hotel. A little view over here. Very nice. So, um, Angelique and I just left the room right now. And uh, I just stopped here to get a refreshment. And where's the garbage at? Hmm. Here we go. Let's go get some ramen, guys. Hey, babe. Babe. Do they, do they say that the breakfast is included with it or what? Um, I forgot. You can ask me. That's all. I'll just look at the paper. Right. I was just wondering because that's where the restaurant's at. We want breakfast is right there in the morning. All right. So here we go. Off to have some ramen we go, guys. Hungry. Ramen sounds so good. There's like a little lounge area right here. <gasps> Pretty nice. Angelique says she approves. Mm, you like it? It's nice. I think I'm not, I like this one better than the first one. Yeah. The gracery is like, the only reason the gracery is really like um, desirable by tourists is just because of the Godzilla, pretty much. I mean, it's got a nice lobby and the, the rooms are decent. But um, I actually think that this one, this hotel is not a lot nicer. The bed's more comfortable. It's like just higher quality, I think. Yeah. So that's the hotel right here. And there's the little alleyway leading up to it. <laughs> it's funny because when we first walked up on this, I saw Grand Bach Hotel and I saw this little building right here and I thought that that was the hotel. I was like, what the heck happened? I thought we got like bait and switched and they gave us <laughs> a other hotel that was not as advertised. This downtown area is like really nice. Huh? Yeah, it's just, a little bit far from the station. Yeah. It's kind of far from the station, but it's like... There's like tons of stuff in here. This downtown area is like lined with tons of little shops and stuff like that. and um, It's just like very well decorated and lit. I'm digging it. Looks like this... uh it's kind of like an outdoor strip mall. Pretty nice. Got lots of little shops and stores. All right, so we uh, found a ramen place. It's called Kyoto Engine Ramen. Uh, that's where we're walking to right now. It's pretty close, right? Hopefully there's not like a long wait over there and we could, uh, get a seat pretty quick and eat because I am so hungry. There's a lot of people out right now. Dude, Kyoto's like really nice. Huh, that's a surprise. Yeah, so I guess, um, here in, um, in Japan, 
they're, evidently they're not allowed to have Ubers from what I heard. Um, they're actually, uh, the Ubers aren't like your traditional, um, uh, wait a minute, what's going on here? Is it gonna turn green or not? Yeah, the Ubers aren't your traditional, like, uh, regular drivers, like, that you could just pick up a car and just become an Uber driver. They actually um, license the Uber uh, bookings uh, to local taxi drivers. So you'll see right there a taxi right there that's got an Uber sign on it. But the thing is, it's notoriously expensive to take Uber or taxi in, in Japan. So you're better off uh, just taking the, the public transport because in many cases, the public tra transport's faster anyway because you're not going through the traffic and all the stoplights. You're just like, in many cases, just going, you got like a straight shot there with the, with the trains, which is pretty cool. So, here we go. Walking down this main drag again. Angelique has been craving her ramen since this morning. Were you like, do you feel like hella hungover this morning? Yeah. Yeah? Like, but I haven't, like, that little piece of chicken, that's all I ate. I know. And then, um, just, I didn't drink water, too. Yeah. That's what I was telling her last night. The, the trick to, um, oh, you see, this is like kind of, it's like stuff. It looks like it a lot. Dang, there's like tons of shopping out here, like so many stores. Um, yeah, what I was trying to tell her is that uh, when you're, when you like drink a lot, uh, at the end of the, well, throughout the night, you should like be eating like at least small bites or whatever to kind of soak up the alcohol. But especially at nighttime, right before you go to bed and you finish drinking, you should drink something other than alcohol before you go to bed and uh, have something to eat. And yeah that's what i did and i felt just fine when i woke up where is this ramen place that's not ramen oh right there kyoto engine ramen here's the sign right there oh we're back, back where the bengal What's that? Dude, this Kyoto engine ramen is like hidden. What the heck? All right, let's go have some ramen, guys. Hello. Two person. Yes, for two people. Just a moment. Okay, thank you. <sighs> this place looks pretty nice. You excited? Yeah, I know. I've been like craving like a hot bowl of ramen. That sounds so good. So this is the ramen right here, guys. Can I get the spicy one? Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah. Did you say it's saffron? I don't know what that is. 
Chasseur pork. Look at the way the, the broth it just coats the noodles. It just like sticks to the noodles. It's so thin. So, uh, yeah, uh, Kiro Engine Ramen. Mm. That place is actually really freaking good because the broth is, uh, was like this cream based broth and uh, it was super rich. But we, we got there like at the perfect time because it got so packed. Yeah, like when we got there, there's no wait. And then we were walking out, there's a long line. Huh? It was so good because it was super I know. That was super good. I never had that kind of broth well, before. Yeah, it's super good. Even if I think we're not going to be so good. Oh, so. look. Look what we have here, guys. Eugene. Koe donuts. So what do you want to, what do, you want to do tomorrow? Maybe I'm going to rent the kimono. Oh, you're going to rent the kimono? Yeah. And then we'll go to like shrines and... You're going to be a, a Filipina kimono wearer. <laughs> this is, this, isn't this where Chez came and got a kimono? I think she didn't get a kimono. She did it? Yeah. Oh no, she got a handbook when she went to, um, yeah. when she went to Korea, huh? Yeah, with her mom. Oh. I think I should wear a kimono. You think I'd look sexy in one? You should. It's just um. You want, you want me to wear a kimono? Like yeah. a girl kimono? No, no. The one with a... Like a samurai. I would need like a sumo wrestler size. Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll get one. Maybe I'm going to get a kimono tomorrow too. I don't know if you call them kimonos for guys, but... I might get one. And then we'll do the, the tourist thing and go take pictures at all the temples and shrines. So... All right, well, I think we are beat for today, guys. We're tired. We were only running. Like, we went to bed, like, at 4.30 last night, probably. 4.30? Almost 5, huh? Mm -hmm. So, and then we woke up at 8 o'clock. 8 a.m. And then traveled all the way over here and got lost and freaking struggled. We are all frustrated and tired. Uh, so... Feels good to lay down right now. Um, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Say bye bye. Bye. <laughs> what did you think you did? You took a. You thought you you were naked when you forgot you had a skirt on or what? Mm. <laughs> bye.